Welcome back to Dream F1 and as usual let's take a look at the main news stories ahead of this weekend. Red Bull has made a clear statement regarding Sergio Perez's future in the team. They expect him to finish in the top 6 in the Drivers' Championship and clearly stated that they see no reason to keep him should he finish any lower. They will clearly be on the watch out for a replacement for next season as Checo is currently only 9th in the championship, trailing P6 by 23 points. Porsche, on the other hand, had a super strong start to the season, looking like they could even upset the top three teams and they were aiming for frequent podium finishes. Lately, their results haven't been as great and their main rivals McLaren have been catching up quite quickly in the last races. Can Porsche bounce back just ahead of the halfway point of the season? And our last news story is a bit of a rumor as Haas is rumored to be looking for a buyer of their F1 entry. The team that entered F1 in 2016 started out pretty well but has been falling down the order since 2019. Team owner Gene Haas might now finally be fed up after years of suffering and is ready to sell the team. Or at least that is the rumor. Moving on to the Junior Series race, which took place at Gateway's road course and started out well for pole sitter Franco Colapinto. He led the way into the opening sequence of corners, but come lap 2, he was already passed by Enzo Fittipaldi, and Zane Maloney in the number 3 car also found his way past the Argentinian. American Jack Crawford had a super strong day as he was right in the fight for the top 4 as well, and in the final lap, Accelerating out of the infield back onto the oval, he even managed to attack Maloney for P2, where he finished in the end. A season best result for Crawford. Fittipaldi took yet another win, now putting him an entire race win clear of Maloney in the championship. Bortolato struggled at this venue, meaning he's falling further behind. Back to Dream of One, where we are about to finish the first half of the season racing at the prime racing venue in the United Kingdom, which of course is Silverstone. This track has seen a lot of modifications throughout its history, but managed to always stay one of the favorite circuits for both fans and drivers of the F1 calendar, usually providing some of the best racing of the entire season. And before we head trackside, let's look at the starting grid for today's race. Hamilton and Russell lock out the front row for Mercedes in their home race, with the two Ferraris just behind them. We managed to creep into the top 10 with a decent lap yesterday, while a disappointing qualifying for Red Bull sees Paris beat Max Verstappen, but they're both only starting from 10th and 11th. Continuing further down the order, our teammate Mick Schumacher also had a Saturday to forget, starting 23rd from the last row of the great. Okay, here we are now. This is the first race, no, the last race of the first half of our second season in Dream of One, and we're on the way at Silverstone. Not the greatest getaway. We make contact with Polo. Oh, damn. And there is Max Verstappen already alongside us. There's still a few damp spots, and, well, like the real Max Verstappen, we kind of get pushed off the road by Verstappen. And now, oh damn, already having to defend, dropped out of the top 10 here. Oh, more puddles on the track, but nothing too big, so nothing really to worry about. Careful on the throttle out of here. Ooh, throttle application seems to be a bit of an issue for me right now. Oh, let's not lap, but hopefully that is not another race like in Barcelona where we had a great qualifying and then somehow struggled with the car in race trim, but through the S's it felt fine, which is a good sign because that is probably the most critical part of the lab. Careful through stow. Oh, big puddle here at the pit entry. And in the final sector, okay. Need to be careful there. Oh, I know why I have a bit of an issue on the throttle, because both of the times that I almost lost the car, 
I had a bit of wet tires probably, so this probably is just after running through paddles I need to be extremely careful on the throttle. And I almost lose the car. Yet again, I need to be careful. Stow and the final corner. This is where I'm struggling with the car. The rest of the track is completely fine. Okay, now look at that. Oh, Verstappen slips past Polo, and we almost managed to follow him through. Didn't do that, but we're very close to Alex. Ooh. Weak line through Stowe. No, not Stowe, sorry, Cops. Once again, Verstappen on the outside. Getting forced very close to the edge of the track by Perez. And Pelot slips back through. Oh. This is not good for Max's championship ambitions. As so once again, we slide through the final corner. No! Oh, damn! Ah, oh, crap! That was a bit of too much curb! Wow, what is Tsunoda doing? Just turned in on us there. Whoa! Okay. What's happening? Okay. Let's catch our breath, try to hold Kobayashi behind, and recollect, because that was... And of course it was at Stowe. The thing is, I dropped out of the DRS from the guys ahead, and that yeah, left me in the claws of this group here. Whew, okay, that, that went well for what it was, because that could have ended way worse. We're still running, we just lost two positions and not too much time. Just need to remember not to take that much curb. That's though. Oh. oh, contact between the two! That's an opportunity. Come on. Ooh, now I am on the outside. Oh. Come on. And now with the help of DRS, we pass Sonoda back into 11th. Right where we have been. Ahead of a half spin through Stowe. This is not over. Damn it. Almost had an opportunity to go past him there. Oh, but that's a terrible exit. Oh, we need to be much better than that to have any sort of chance.
but he went through the water. That should ideally be us past Sonoda. Oh, and yet again we approach Stowe side by side, but we managed to make it past around the outside once again. Sonoda still looking to make it past now through the S's, almost going side by side with me there. Lewis Hamilton from the race lead, the first one to pit, as we are, well, we are already quite close to the halfway point of this race. My battery is almost empty, so I should probably try and save some energy. Oh, that was bad. There goes Sonoda once again. <laughs> okay, you know what? I feel my tires getting worse right now. Ooh. A bit too hot into turn one. So maybe I will pit at the end of this lap. Oh, Tsunoda! Diving down the inside there. Yeah, I want to be on the outside here. There goes Yuki again. But to be honest, I don't quite mind right now because this is where I go. Whew, okay, that was close with the pit line, but it worked. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, we need a good pit stop now. Still in fourth, don't know why. Okay, come on. And let's get some good outlaps in here. And see if we can gain something. Oh, look at this. This is fantastic news ahead of us. This is Alex Pillow. He's battling with the two Red Bulls ahead of the pit stop. And he was running in the points. He's now being held up by Joe Guan Yu and our teammate. So that means we have a good opportunity. We have been putting in some very strong lap times quicker than the race leaders, who of course are yet to pit, uh, Russell and Sainz. But we have been gaining also on them. So the quest for points is still on.
Well, that's a big opportunity. We're alongside Polo there. Polo goes past Joe. Oh, but we managed to go with him. Oh, bit of a moment. Past Joe, that's important. We need to follow Polo. DRS, we are quite far back, but look how we are gaining on Alex. Not enough, though. Yuki Tsunoda just in the pits. And we're easily past him. That's good news. Okay, that's a big opportunity here. Whoa! Hello, leaving us not an inch there. Come on, this line has been successful before. And it works another time. Okay, that's now scary. Stroll, Magnussen, Hülkenberg. Hülkenberg was also running in the points before the pit stops. But the other two are just roadblocks. Okay. Magnussen coming in for his pit stop. Stroll still in our way. More people in the pits. Okay, this is an opportunity. Whoa! Contact with Hülkenberg! There goes Polo! More contact! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that was a heart-stopping moment. I thought it would end there once again. Let's pass Troll on those old ties and try to get away from them as quick as we can. And look at that! We are in the top 10! And let's get away from them as quick as we can. And hope they get held up by Stroll for a bit longer. Paris in the pits, can we pass him? We do! Up to ninth! Okay, just six laps. Just keep it together, man. Oh, 
No, no, no. Uh oh, oh. That was a bit too aggressive. We moved up into 8th because another car was in the pits. But Checo is now really close. I don't bother fighting this one. Because, yeah, this is the ba best chance for a counter we had here. But Palau and Hülkenberg are dropping back. This is fantastic news. We just need to keep this here together. But I won't risk too much against Paris. If the opportunity is there to stay ahead of him, I will do that, but... If it's too much risk, I'll just let him go. Yeah, exactly like that. On the other hand, this is of course a great opportunity for DRS. Two laps. Okay, this is the final lap. We're starting the final lap. We're still with Paris. Oh, careful there. That line there on the outside works just so much better for me. Through love field. And in the way that I'm focusing right now, you can see that I'm planning something. We're leaving it very late. Because I don't want him to counter this. And I think this is looking very good indeed. Final lap! Past Paris we go! Back into 8th! Just make it through Stone! Yes, come on! And now defend the final few corners! Don't give him the opportunity! Just leave him out to dry! And we finish the British Grand Prix in the points! And we equal our career best finish we achieved at Monza last year with P8 oh yes 
Finally! Finally! Just as we finished the first half of the season, we did it! It is still possible to score points. Oh, not just one. That is four points in the bag. And we're jumping straight to the race results because, well, it wasn't all that spectacular at the front. Lewis Hamilton won from pole position. Carlos Sainz, in the end, was splitting the two Mercedes that locked out the front row uh, because of the battle strategy compared to George Russell. Charles Leclerc then finished fourth, so Mercedes and Ferrari dominant in the top four. Vettel getting a good result in for Porsche, beating Norris, Verstappen, well, he... Uh, managed to at least climb up to seventh and we yeah scored the first points of our season finally continuing on the second page no really spectacular upsets here Mick Schumacher our teammate he managed to climb from 23rd up to 19th but yeah also nothing to write home about there well and let's look how this changes the driver's championship and this is a very interesting situation here. Carlos Sainz is still in the lead of the championship ahead of George Russell, Max Verstappen, Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton but these five are still all within a realistic chance of fighting for the title going into the second half of this season. Then Alex Pelot, best of the rest, ahead of the two Porsches, Lando Norris in ninth, Sergio Perez dropping down to 10. And then on the second page we finally can see myself, I am in 14th on 4 points, so we finally, finally did it and uh, yeah, don't have that zero in the end anymore. Could be a lot more points that we have on the board already, but at least that puts us now ahead of Kobayashi, Drogovic, Schumacher and Albon. And in the Constructors' Championship it is still very close at the front between Ferrari and Mercedes with the prancing horse still having the upper hand right now and also the fight for fourth is quite interesting but they're getting a bit closer to Red Bull now so uh, Sergio Perez really needs to step up his game for Red Bull in the Constructors Championship. Uh, we have passed Aston Martin and are now in eighth in the Constructors Championship um, yeah, but Alfa Romeo and Haas, they're still the only teams that are yet to score points. And that has been it for this episode of Dream F1. The next race is kind of a special one because we will be returning to France and actually we will be racing at Le Mans. Not the 24-hour layout of the circuit, but the circuit Bugatti. So, subscribe to not miss that, leave a like if you did enjoy this video and I hope to see you all the next time. Until then... Goodbye.